Good morning, everybody. Welcome to beautiful Salisbury University and the 35th annual Southern Delmarva Economic Forecast. We're glad you're all here. I'm Bill Chambers, President and CEO of the Salisbury Area Chamber of Commerce. I want to thank our presenting sponsors today, Beacon here at Salisbury University and the Franklin P. Purdue School of Business. Uh, without their support and sponsorship, this event would not be what it is. So how about a round of applause for Beacon and the Purdue School. And I'd like to welcome the leader of Salisbury University, Dr. Carolyn ringer lepre She's the president here at the university. She'll bring some greetings this morning. Good morning, everybody. What a beautiful day we have for this event. A little chilly, but beautiful. It is my absolute pleasure to welcome you to Salisbury University for the 35th annual Southern Delmarva Economic Forecast. The university is so proud to host this event again this year, and as, I must say, as the university's new president, I am incredibly encouraged at each and every one of these events to see how many of our elected officials, business leaders, and the non, from people from the nonprofit sector, educators, and those from every industry coming together in order to find ways to improve the regional economy, something that's so incredibly important to each and every one of us. One of the first things that I noticed after moving to Salisbury was how well our community works together, because our leaders understand the value of shared success. With the ever-changing landscape of our world, our nation, our state, our community, hearing from the regions that leading regional economists and business leaders on the area's biggest achievement and challenges at today's event plays a particularly important role in growing the Delmarva region. When I joined SU back in July, some of the things that attracted me to the university were our high rates of student success and the sense of community present on and around our campus. But what might have stood out to me the most is SU's close ties to Salisbury and the surrounding areas. And it's something that I've seen every day since I started. Every single day I see evidence of our students, our faculty and our staff working together with all of you on the important issues that are facing us. Our support of students not only brings jobs to our area, but also hundreds of millions of dollars in economic impact for the Eastern Shore. Collectively, I know that we are all shaping the region's future, and it's a future that I hope to be very prosperous and something that I am very proud personally to be a part of. I know today's discussions will be valuable and productive, and I hope that all of you have an absolutely wonderful day on our campus, a wonderful day talking to your peers and learning more. Thank you so much for being here. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you, Dr. Lepre. We have other sponsors I'd like to recognize. Our media sponsor, WBOC. Our CEO level sponsors, D3, Fundfill, Give, Send, Go, Orsted, Pohanka of Salisbury, Simple Fiber, Avery Hall, Care First, Delmarva Power, Compass Advocacy, Effective, Mount Air Farms, M&T Bank, Next Amp, Purdue Farms, Tidal Health, Truist, Association of Builders and Contractors, Chesapeake Shores, Bancroft Construction, BBSI, the Bank of Delmarva, Chesapeake Utilities, Delmarva Veteran Builders, Peninsula Roofing Company, Hebron Savings Bank, PKS and Company, Providence Savings Bank, SBDC of Maryland, State Farm Insurance, the Tri-County Council of the Lower Eastern Shore of Maryland, SVN Miller Commercial Real Estate, Warwick Community College, W.R. McCain, I think I have one left. A lot of sponsors. And our supporter level sponsors, Chop Tank Electric Cooperative, Davis Bone and Friedel, Gillis Gilkerson, Delmarva Chicken Association, Minuteman Press, NAI Coastal, Pentex Ventures, Salisbury Wicomico Economic Development, Minuteman Press, and our official photographer today, 
Steven Bergman Studios. How about a round of applause for all these great sponsors? I want to thank the committee of volunteers that put this program together. Our very own John Hickman here at Beacon, Carrie Todd, Rick Fahey, Zach Evans, who will be our moderator this morning, Greg Riddell, and Jeff Merritt. And we have a few elected officials I'd like to recognize. Our county executive elect, Julie Giordano. Julie? For four more days, as you reminded me last night, County Councilman Bill McCain. Don't know if he's here yet, but County Councilman-elect Jeff Merritt. Don't know if Jeff's here. City of Salisbury, President of the City Council, Jack Heath. Vice President of the City Council, Muir Boda. Council members April Jackson and Michelle Gregory. Thank you, gals, for being here. And not that those aren't tough jobs, but probably one of the toughest jobs is being president of the Board of Education, Gene Malone. If anyone has these spare band-aids, he's always looking for something to cover the wounds up. Uh, at lunch today, we'll have three quick presentations. So after you grab your plate, please come back in the room. We're going to hear a quick presentation about broadband, about community solar, and about the amusement business. So I hope you'll grab lunch and join us for that. <clears throat> and I'm gonna hold this up, this is at your tables. Uh, Beacon and all three of the Tri-County Councils and local economic development agencies are conducting a semi-annual survey on the sentiment of businesses on Maryland's Eastern Shore as 2022 concludes. So your input is key to understanding the current future economic conditions on the Eastern Shore and nationally so please use the QR code on these sheets that are at your tables and share your opinions on where you think we are uh, as we finish 2022.